Big game coverage live from Glendale, Arizona. Powered by AA Best Bail Bonds, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds, Texas Cheer, and by 941 San Antonio Sports Star. First of all, morning, Rudy. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we told you he was coming, and Jalen Hyatt's here. Yes, he is. <laughs> I, I hate to just say it like that. He is. Jalen yeah. sat down, and he, you know, Jalen's going to be playing on Sundays, and he's got a big old trophy called the Blitnikoff. I mean, he's famous. <laughs> he is. He, he's earned it. But and he came and he sat down with us and he's brought his crew and he's gonna have to get used to that. And Rudy looked over and said, "Man, you brought your trainer." <laughs> and because uh, <laughs> you must be working here, they got you taken care of. And he goes, "Who? My dad?" <laughs> yeah, I hyped him up, man. Yeah, he, hyped him up. My bad, my bad, Jalen. <laughs> so he's our age. Yeah, nah, no, yeah, he's my age. I mean, he ain't my yeah. age. He's younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be. So Jalen, you're living a good life right now, man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um. You know, up here training in Arizona. Um, so that's my first time up here in Arizona. It's beautiful, man. I I've been in the South my whole life, you know. So uh, yeah, it's different, man. I'm the weather's here. good, but it get a little bit chilly at night. Oh yeah, that's like, one thing I learned. You know, it's a lot of thing I learned being up here. It's the Waffle House. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, and you know, when 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 it gets when it's nighttime, it gets cold real quick. Yeah, it does real quick. Now, Jalen, you're coming out of the SEC, you had a great season. Certainly, a great career there. Yep. And, and tell me what, when if you were approached by somebody that's being recruited to go to T, play mm-hmm. Tennessee, yeah. what's the pitch and what would be the reason, if I'm a wide receiver, why would I want to go? Mm. You know, I think for, um, you know, as far as recruiting, um, you know, as far as with being a receiver, what you want to do is how big is it? You know, it's the right. SEC, right? It's the biggest conference. Um, and not only that, man, you know, we – we have the number one offense in the country. Mm. I think we proved that. Um, and what Coach Hype is doing there, um, it's just amazing. And he's still building. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. He's still building. Um, we hi- we have the hype around us now, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think Tennessee is the place you want to be. Some sure. juice if there I'm now. a receiver, yeah. that's the place you want to be. So yeah. tell me where you feel like the biggest jump from the season previous to then this season, yeah. you're getting 1,200 yards. What was the biggest difference? Was it Coach Hype? Was it – was it Hendon? Was it you? Like, what was the what made you make that big of a jump from you know two three hundred yeah. yards to twelve hundred yards? Yeah. Uh, I'll say you know my my hard work in the off season. You know, right. you know, in the month of June, July, like I said, fifteen thousand balls. June, July, I caught fifteen thousand. You know, so wow. it, it, I stayed, man. I I didn't do any vacations. I didn't go home to see my family, which you know they're in Florida, and you know a lot of players go home, you know, during the summer, and you know you want right. to do whatever you want to do, but. I stayed in Tennessee. I stayed right there in Knoxville when nobody's there, you know, because when when vacation hit, nobody's really there. You know? Right. So you're really there, you know, alone, to be honest. Um, and I was there. Hendon Hooker was there. Um, and you know, my focus was, all right, like, what can I do? You know, what can I do to be better than what I did last year? Because last year wasn't it. You know, my sophomore year wasn't it. And um, that's that, that really was on my mind, you know, the whole time, the whole offseason, for sure. All right. So let's talk about your career. Um what is the difference between Georgia's DBs and Bama's DBs? Because you certainly like playing against Bama. <laughs> <laughs> you know, obviously, man, both of them, you know. Um, you you know, don't have to say that again. Look, you should be honest. Look, you know, I, 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 tell the truth. How did you feel after you the Bama game? Like, tell them a new one. Tell the truth. Yeah. Tell they the had truth, to Jay. burn that tape after the game. Yeah, you know, it. You know, they, they try to – they play a lot of quarters, man. They play a lot of bits and, you know – Obviously, when you go vertical, man, you know it's, it turns into man. You know? a, I, and, um, I, I got to be honest before you go any further. <laughs> I'm a I'm a Texas A&M. He's an okay. Aggie. I'm oh, an Aggie, okay. and okay. I would like to thank you for what you did to Bama. <laughs> I just as a per, from all of us in, in, in College Station, thank you for yeah. what you did. Yeah, well, yeah. that needed to be done. Now, what's the what, talk about Georgia's defense? Yeah, you what, know what does Kirby um, do different with them? Well, you know, when I went against them, man, they they had me double covered. Yeah, you know, most exactly. Of the game. You know, a, lot of people, a wise move. A lot of people don't see, you know, don't really see that. They had me double covered, um, and they had a safety over top of me. Um, and not only that, they had their outside linebacker or their nickel out on me and you know, get pressed. And um, so I couldn't really do a lot of things that I really wanted to do, you know. But you know, just with Georgia, man, um, you know, they come to play. That's one thing. <laughs> you know, they, they come to play. Uh, you know, credit to Kirby, uh, Kirby Smart, and what he's done for that defense, but. Um, you know, obviously a great group of group of guys. And not only that, you you know, you don't have that much time to throw the ball. You know, that's the one thing great we want point. to emphasize, man. You know, that's what we're emphasizing in the game plan. And, like, Hook doesn't have that long. You know, he doesn't have that long to throw the ball. Mm-hmm. And when we went against him, uh, we was up there. Um, 
That's a tough place to play for anybody. I don't care who ask. Ask TCU. You know, it's different. My freshman year when I went there, it was COVID. So, right. you know, everybody really wasn't there. Uh, so this year it was actually my first year, mm-hmm. you know, experiencing. It was college game day. Yeah. And, uh, you know, right. it was actually my first time experiencing uh, a sold out Athens uh, stadium, you know, cool. and uh, so it was, it was, you know, it, it was different. This year. <laughs> cool. yeah, so, um, An eye opener. We couldn't right. hear anything. Uh, obviously, you could tell wow. watching it because we had like 10 false starts. And, you know, once you get behind the sticks, man, it's offense. It's so hard, just to, yeah. you know, just to get a momentum. And, you know, you always emphasize, all right, let's get the first first down, first first down to get the offense going. We couldn't even do that, man. So That's Jalen Hyatt. Him, man. He's joining us. Tennessee wide receiver. going to be playing on Sundays. He won a reward called the Bolitnikoff Award. If you haven't heard of it, he's the best wide receiver in college football last year. Facts. Just, just, that's just a damn fact. And you were born genetically blessed. You are. You, you were yeah. born to be a wide receiver. But I didn't think the name would play into money as well. <laughs> so not only do you have the G's to get paid to play football, you got the last name to get yeah. paid while you're playing football in college. Tell me about your partnership, the NIL deal that yeah. was made in heaven oh, with yeah. Hyatt. You know, I think, you know, um, just looking what they have done, uh, with the world of Hyatt, you know, we wanted to do it for the bowl game. Um, oh, okay. I was in discussions with them during the season, but what we wanted to do was we wanted to make it uh, with families, with my teammates' mm-hmm. families, because at the bowl game, you know, I realized just you know, because we went to um, my sophomore year when we had to play uh, Purdue. Um, but when you go to a bowl game, you know, for the hotel, it's so hard. Like with families, man, it's expensive. It's you know, expensive, it's, man. And, and yeah. At the same time, it matters where you're going to and. Obviously, we went to Miami, you know, it's expensive there, man. You know, you're not going to find cheap hotels there, especially <laughs> where we're playing at. And, um, you know, what they've done, you know, they rack up these points and uh, they make it seem, they make it so, you know, the team, my teammate families can come. And when they, man, it was, it, we it's had, nice to we give had, to the oh, fam, yeah, right? That's yeah, an awesome man. thing, we man. A, we had a blast, man. And it, it was amazing to see all the families there. Um, and some of them I know as far as their, uh, their family, like their dads and moms and, Oh, I had a great time. Great time. Jalen, sure. go ahead. Okay. No, I, I want to talk to you about the position you find yourself in. Uh, obviously, skilled and ready for Sundays. There's no question about it. Um, but given the financial availability of some of the players now in college, was it, was it even a consideration to stay because there was some NIL money? Or you know, But I understand the league is the thing and has been yeah. for 10 years. That's the I goal. I understand right. that. Yeah. But was there anything that said, you know, maybe I'll wait a year? Yeah. Play with the balls and you get know, a little it, money in my pocket. You know, with NIL, man, you know, it. I think for me, um, my dream, you know, like you said, my dream and my goal was always, you know, NFL. Right. It was always the league. And, you know, some people, um, you know, some people nowadays, especially with NIL now, um, you know, they get caught up into it. You know, they, they try to get the money now, mm-hmm. now, now. And they right. don't realize, man, what are you really playing for? You know, right. and what I was really playing for was National Football League. You know, what I was really playing for was, going that next level, going to that next step. And um, I feel like, you know, just off the year that I had and just the people that I have around me, um, I, you know, we felt like it was the best decision. And, um, you know, we, we we did that for sure. All right. Before we get you out of here, LeBron or MJ? <laughs> <laughs> He gonna ask me after he. Uh, uh, he gonna ask me after he just got his little. Okay. okay. So is MJ there He's for you? You clearly, you clearly is MJ for Look. you there, right? <laughs> it, you, it's a subjective I, I really, argument. Man, it's I okay. Really You'd know. be right. If you I said really Michael. Not know. If you said Michael, especially you're after right. what LeBron did last night, it's hard. You know, it's hard to say. But I mean, you know, I didn't grow up watching MJ. Obviously, yeah, yeah. You know, and y'all did, and so we might have different, you know, different sides on it. But I might have to go LeBron James. I think it's LeBron. I, I, I think. I mean, LeBron. I watched. I I grew up watching MJ, but you can't deny LeBron anymore. He He's done deny. too much. He, he done too much. Um, Obviously, what he did last night, that was a big one. That was a big one. As you know, we talk, number stars. one all-time scorer. We're going to have to turn something. Who's your football idol? Who was the guy you wanted to be when you were playing in your front yard? <laughs> um, you know, at that time, so we're talking, okay, we're talking like 10 years ago. Because now you're your own person, so yeah. you want to be Jalen Hyatt. Be, but yeah, I'm like, you're a kid. Man, I'll just say, I'm not even going to say when I was a kid. I'll say two years or three years ago. Okay. I really, I man, I love Devontae Adams. I love what he does. Really? He's consistent every year, back-to-back thousand yards every year. Yeah. Um, and now, like, one of my guys that, you know, the young guys that I'm looking at now that I really enjoy watching is um, Justin Jefferson. I yeah. mean, he – Catch everything. Catching ball skills are amazing. Uh, route running, 
run routes, um, take over games. You know, it, that, that's what you want in a receiver. You know, you want a receiver that you can trust. You want a receiver that's decisive. You want a receiver that take over games, and that's what he does, man. He has a bright, bright future. Awesome. Jaylen, impressive, sure. man. Impressive. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad rooting to meet for you, you man. Yes, We're rooting yes, for you. You'll be playing you. on Sundays. You're going to be watching them then. The draft's just around the corner. You're going to hear him early on yep. day one. His name hopefully is Chicago Lyons. Bears. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about that, but hopefully he goes to the Bears. The Bears need a receiver hey, bad. Jalen, I bid man. you luck. I bid you health. And, yeah. uh, yes, sir. Go take yes, care sir. of it. That's Jalen Hyatt. You catch him right here on San Antonio Sports Star because that's what we do.